guys, and welcome to this episode of Beetle TV. Today, we'll be looking at how to care for beetle larva. I've put together a guide for beginners like myself who are looking for basic information on rearing beetles. We'll be looking at how to set up your beetle larva container and how to care for your beetle larva once they've settled in. So, here's the checklist. You will need a container to house your beetle larva, pest tape to prevent any unwanted guests, good substrate for your larva to bury in and feed on, and finally, a mist spray bottle to keep up the humidity. I'll go into all of these now, step by step. First, you'll need a good plastic container. A large one such as this is great for hosting multiple small larvas or a few big ones. Remember though, stag beetle larvae can be cannibalistic, so never house them together. For single grubs still in their L1 stage, a small container like this is fine. Second, you'll need pest tape. The larvae require ventilation holes in your container, but they'll need protecting from mites and other unwanted pests with tape. You can easily make your own using mesh or netting and taping it over the ventilation holes. Third is a good substrate. This is really important as it's what your larva will rely on for bedding and food. You can buy ready-made substrate such as this one from Rhino Beetle UK as well as the containers and pest tape, but you can easily make your own using a mixture of rotting leaf litter and decaying wood mixed in garden soil or cocoa fibre substrate. The wood should crumble like this. Always remember though, soil or cocoa fibre substrate are not enough to feed larvae on their own as they rely on the wood and leaf litter for nutrients. So, fill up your container with at least 15 centimetres or 6 inches of substrate. This is enough for your larva to burrow in. Then, compact the soil down. The larva will then decompact the soil again when digging and burrowing in it. You should keep your container at room temperature at around 25 degrees. However, flower beetles often like it a few degrees warmer. Keeping the substrate moist. To maintain humidity, check the dryness of the soil. If it is flaky and doesn't stick together much, it needs misting to moisten it. It should be moist enough that it does not drip water, but not too dry that it becomes flaky and sandy. These are ideal conditions for your larva. Number two is to keep the container clean and make efficient use of your substrate. To do this, sift out the faeces weekly or fortnightly. This means the substrate does not need changing as regularly and improves the welfare of your larva. So, there you go, it's as easy as that. Rearing beetles is fun and simple. I hope this helps, and if you do have any further questions, just comment below and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe. See you next time on Beetle TV.